Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Nasrin Padasale. So in this video, we are going to detailedly explain about what is meant by percentage and percentile with respect to CSIR UGC exam conducted by NTA. So the NTA only conduct the CSIR examination friends. So many students are getting confused about this percentage and percentile. And so many life sciences students are getting confused. So percentage means it is a mark that was scored by an individual will be calculated. So that's called as percentage. In percentage, there is no comparison of your mark with rest of the candidate who wrote the examination. And this percentage by calculation is also applicable only if an exam was conducted in single session. Like in morning session itself, all the candidates say for a particular exam, 10,000 candidates has appeared in applied means all the 10,000 candidates at a single stretch, they will write the exam in one session itself. There won't be no different question paper, there is a single question paper. So at that time point, percentage will be taken into account. Next, with respect to life science, sorry, CSCR examination, there are five subjects. Physical sciences, chemical sciences, earth sciences, mathematical sciences and life sciences. So, for above subjects like physical sciences, chemical sciences, earth sciences and mathematical sciences, the cutoff will be released in a percentage marks only. Why? Because all these students like physical sciences, chemical sciences, earth sciences, mathematical sciences wrote their exam in single shift and hence they have a same question paper. So that's the reason for all these students the cutoff will be released as a percentage mark. There is no difficulty for all those students. It is only for this life sciences students who are getting more tense with regarding to percentage. So with respect to life sciences, cutoff is not released in percentage mark friends. It is released as a percentage mark. So how this percentile mark will be calculated means for life sciences student alone, they will incorporate the concept called normalization. So why normalization? Say for life sciences exam, totally 1 lakh to more than 1 lakh student will apply. Whereas if you take other sciences like physical sciences, chemical sciences, and only 30 to 50,000 students will be applied. And also in this corona era, we can conduct the examination for all 50,000 in a single batch itself. Whereas if you take 1 lakh student, how can we conduct? A 1 lakh student exam in a single set. So, that's the reason. They divided morning session and evening session. Okay. So, you can able to see morning group and evening group. So, morning group, the paper was easy and afternoon group, the paper was hard. This is an example I am saying, but nowhere uh, the NTA will set this kind of question paper. There is a particular percentage. Say for morning question paper, there should be 10 percentage of question should be easy and remaining 70 percentage question should be hard like that. They will decide. Okay. Uh, but what students are thinking, morning shift, the question paper was easy and many students can be able to score many marks at the same time, cutoff will also be high. Okay, and they will release a separate result for morning batch. So, from morning batch, there will be particular student will be selected. And after session, the paper was cut, so cutoff will be low. So, many students can't able to clear the examination. So, for this, they will release a separate result. Say, this is how the students are expecting this year result, like June 2021 result. Say, shift 1, from shift 1, they will select 7,000 students. And from shift 2, they will select remaining 7,000 students. So, that's how the students are thinking. But 7,000, 7,000 means 14,000. This 7,000 I am saying every year after conducting the CSIR examination for life sciences student, nearly 7,000 candidate will be selected and they will be awarded fellowship. So, this 7,000 includes both your JRF as well as your lecturership. Friend. So, this data I had extracted from previous year research section. So, if you visit this MTA website where you can be able to get how many fellowships and all our better, we can dis discuss that particular thing in the next video. So, this is how you are expecting. But student, please don't think in this particular way. They will release the <coughs> fellowship uh, only for 7,000 to 8,000 students. Because if you think 14,000 students means the budget will be a big factor. Because every year, uh, NTA for our NTA budget, financial, everything will be allotted. More the budget, they can't able to handle the situation. So, don't think in that way under friends. So, how... So, and also if there is release a separate result means the NTA will be very much partial. Since group 1 is an easy paper, so more students will clear the examination. Since group 2, it's a hard paper, so less students will be clear the examination. So, at this time point, NTA will be accused with partiality, inequality and all, which nowhere in India we can't able to expect. So, that's the reason they had incorporated a concept called percentage. What does mean by percentage? So, with respect to percentage, your performance will be compared with all other. 
say if you are taking 1 lakh student, your performance will be compared with all the 99,999 students and they will release a percentile score. This percentile is completely a different concept and it is found to be easy respect to student time and the calculation is really a hectic part. Okay, and other example, other definition is that percentile help us to know where you are standing in the line. See, in a line of 10,000 candidates who appear for the particular exam means, if you are standing in first position means you are ranked number 1. If you are standing in 250 position means your rank is 250. And if you are standing in 10,000 position, then definitely you can't able to clear the exam. This is how you need to know about this percentile. Percentile help us to know where you are standing in the line. Say this many candidate or this many student has appeared for the CSI examination. So among 1 lakh students who wrote the examination, you might be standing in 100th position the, if you wrote the examination well and also if your preparation is well or else you might be standing in 60th position of 1 lakh student if you wrote the examination very bad. So this is what it deals with about the percentage. Help us to know where you are standing and, and, and again it will help us to give an answer for whether you will clear the exam or not. So, this percentile deals with the individual friends. So, individual mark will be taken into account. This percentile will be applicable only if the exam was conducted in single shift itself. Whereas, percentile, you are comparing one person with all other who appeared for the exam. So, this percentile concept will be incorporated when the exam was conducted in two shift. For both the shift, there was no single question paper was not given. Both the shift write a different question paper. So, at this time point, we can't able to incorporate percentage. If we incorporate means we need to release a separate result, which is again uh, make our student mind to get difficulty. Okay. So, how this percentage score is calculated? So, percentage score is also called as NTA score, friends. Okay. So, don't confuse NTA score with percentage score. NTA will incorporate a percentage, percentage concept and they will release a percentage score. So, formula is 100 into number of candidates appeared in the session with a raw mark equal to or less than that of you. Okay. Say if a candidate A is writing the examination, so in the nominator you need to put total number of candidates appear in the session with a raw mark equal to or less than that of candidate A divided by total number of candidates appear in the session. So the example I am telling you friends, so based on my result I had taken, so in the scorecard itself you will get total number of candidates registered in life sciences and total number of candidates appear in the life sciences. Okay. So total number of candidates appear is 63,892. Okay, and the total number of candidates who uh, got the raw mark less than minus 62,278. So, you need to apply the formula, then you will get a percentage score called 97 is the percentage score. So, this is what the minimum cutoff percentage. So, here itself you can be able to see only for life sciences they had put an asterisk mark and below they had said life sciences subject the raw mark have been normalized into NTA score or percentage score and this result have been declared and percentage cutoff. Okay, so remaining every sciences it is same. Uh, percentage wise they had released only for life sciences percentage score has been calculated and this percentage score was came into force only on 2020 year. Okay, so let me show you about the result for this uh, uh, 2019. So 2019 only uh, this uh, NTA was taken into account. So if you take 2019 December month and 2019 two exam was conducted. So June month and December month. So that's uh, in that particular December year the exam was conducted in a single shift itself with the same question paper. So at that time point as per all the sciences our life sciences also the cutoff was released on percentage wise only. So here you can be able to see percentage wise only respect to December 2019 that is before COVID era. Whereas if you take 2020 examination at that time point we are in COVID era. So what NTA thought that we can separate the batches into morning and evening for both the batch we can give a separate question paper. At that time point only they had incorporated the percentile mark. So I hope I had detailedly explained you about percentile and percentage with respect to CSAR examination. Hope this video will be very much helpful and if you students want to know how this uh, how the wrong mark has been converted into percentage score I have made a video regarding that. that so, how this percentage score, sorry, raw mark is converted into NTA score, everything I made. I'll give the link in the description box if possible or else you can check me in the play, play, uh, play, playlist. Okay, if you didn't subscribe to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and please click the bell icon. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.